GT3 992 manual. Oh, wow. These are rear wheel drive. Have a GT3 for the channel? Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So, about to hop in the Drift Cat and head up to Elite Motor Cars. Check out what they got going on over there because they got a couple insane projects. And then check out some supercars. And there's a there's a GT3 there that I really, really want to see in person. So let's go window shop. Come on, guys. Here at Elite Motor Cars. Shout out my guy Shell. What's Shelton. going on? Some crazy, <laughs> crazy projects. We're, we're just gonna skip past the the hurdle. So the, with the yeah, Lambo the customer doors. was like, "Can you put Lambo doors on the Lambo?" <laughs> we're like, "Yeah, we got you." They honestly should have did that from factory. Though. I know. I don't understand I why they did regular doors on yeah. Hercons. Not ideal. It's a little bit of a mission to put them in, but we got it done. How was the fitment and everything? It's like, okay. It works. Yeah. Yeah. Not something we do often, but when we do, we do it right. And they just function normal, like yeah. normal Lambo door. Yeah. I don't. Uh, I don't know where Charlie's left off with, uh, with the insoles. So I'm not gonna pull him down right now. If there's any bolts or anything missing, but huh. yeah. And then <laughs> this thing, Jesus, this is. <laughs> super. This customer gave me some creative freedom, super, which is super, super dope. Um, yeah, he said he wanted a Hot Wheels car. So a Hot Wheels car hybrid with like a NASCAR feel, a NASCAR okay. look. Okay. So we kind of threw, you know, the numbers in there and I'd say it looks like a Hot Wheels NASCAR. Yeah, it does. <laughs> what <laughs> size are those rear wheels? Those 405s? are 405s? Uh, they're 24s. Jesus Four Giottos too. 24s in the front too? All the way around? God. So we got some uh, okay. center caps to match. We printed the camo, kind of ghost camo there, and I threw the green on to nice. match the, uh, the F there. So those will be kind of fly. Little details. Yeah. Oh, that's hella cool. Got the teeth up front. <laughs> this thing will look mean on the road, though. Dude, it's going to look wild. I you can't wait to get some rollers. You see it in the rear. Yeah, we're going to make some drone, some drone footage for sure. Wow. So it's a, it's a fully molded uh, wide body. So mm. from side skirt, Dude. all the way back to the front of the other side skirt, it's all one piece. No uh, shit. So it's a crazy body kit, but it's a it's a fully built LS3 uh, boosted. So it's got some power to make it move, which is nice. What uh, power adder does it have? Pro charger? Um, it's got a Vortec. Vortec? Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. nice. Make some yeah. cool noises. How much do you think this thing weighs? Oh, bro, a lot. <laughs> With this whole kit and these wheels and yeah. everything. It looks tight, though. I'm excited to get it out. So we just need final touches. I got to finish this mirror. Okay. Uh, put the door handles in, put the, the shark fit up on the roof, and button her up. Yeah, this I thing think will, he's got some big brakes coming, too. So this we'll thing will be some, crazy in videos. Throw some big brakes in there. Wow. Watch him spin some 24s down the road. <laughs> it's like a candy green. This is an Italian brand. Wow. Uh, called Evolve or APA. Pretty dope. I'm guessing that material is a little expensive. A little more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but you never it. see flake or yeah, metallic exactly. in it like that. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming with the heat. Wow. He do anything on the interior? He's got a couple little, couple little goodies, but I think it's all under the hood. It was really on the outside. Color matched for the other color. For the original color, yeah. yeah. So he's got to play around with the interior still. Um, I don't know if he's gonna keep the green or or kind of repaint it to match this green, but we'll let him play with that. Yeah. It's their last two raw. This is the last. AMG model they're gonna put out? Yep, they say really? final edition, yep. What the yep. fuck? E63S, final edition. Got the nice little gold pin striping. This will be a classic someday. Wow, a classic, that sounds crazy. <laughs> that sounds crazy. This will be an antique one day. Giant screen in there. Huge screen. It's pretty fresh. What uh, color paint is this? Uh, I think it's Magno. And this is an actual satin paint, it's not Correct. Like PPF or anything? Correct. Anywhere? So that's what we're doing, we're protecting the paint. Mm. Which is super important for all you guys that have satin paint. <laughs> you gotta protect it, because imagine putting a scratch in it, Can't or doing it. anything wrong with it. Yeah, anything that happens, you're kind of stuck with it. Yeah. So, huge problem if you do scratch it. Um, and to paint satin paint is just very different than gloss paint. 
Uh, it's just hard to match it, get the texture down. But most commonly, you'll see them on the door edge cars. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you can if you can afford it, fit it in budget, do your whole car. Yeah, it's well worth it. Good investment. And it's all self healing stuff. You can literally take light sandpaper um, or like a wire brush, wire wheel, and scuff it up, and the sun will level it all out. So you'll never get a uh, swirl mark again. What would you guys do if you spent your money and had, yeah. <laughs> had your car waiting for over a couple months? for a company to send you a defective material that has all these flaws in it. Check it out. Hopefully you could see it. Yeah, it might be hard to capture, but you gotta catch it in the glare of the light. But there's like bumps, little, little bumps. It almost looks like if someone were to wrap a car without washing it and there's a bunch of like dirt and debris and stuff under the wrap. For some reason, this wrap came like this from <laughs> don't necessarily want to say yeah. the name. Yeah, we, we but... don't want to put too many people on blast, but pretty much we ordered the roll, customer picked the color, yeah. and we had the whole crew on it, so we were, we were being very productive, wrapped most of the car um, all in one shot uh, as, as, as a see, crew. I did everything but bumpers. Pretty much done. And then as we got it into the right lighting, we started seeing all these dots, right? Or, or whatever you call it, it almost looks like sand under the film. So we started questioning ourselves, right? Did we get dirt under there? Did we mess up? What, what happened? Yeah. Uh, we pulled out the roll that we had still, uh, put it on the production table, and we noticed all of it was still in the film. So at least we felt better. We didn't do anything ourselves, but, yeah. <laughs> right? So this this is what happens now. And, and we, didn't know, we didn't know what was gonna go down, how it was gonna go down, but we had to wait for almost like a defective approval process, right? We sent the roll back, weeks went by. They said that they were investigating <laughs> the materials, like, come on, uh, weeks went by. Uh, I told them who I am, I'm not new to the game. I've been doing this for 14 years. Yeah, pro I told professional them up, Yeah, I told them up front, I'm a certified installer, which doesn't mean much, but like, I just, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, I told them up front that it's defective and they didn't want to listen to me. So basically a month and a half goes by, they finally say they'll give me a credit for material. Hmm. They won't give me my labor back. So I have to not only eat the labor of installing it, I got to remove it and I got to rewrap it on me. So what would you guys do? <laughs> yeah, help me out. Yeah, comment, comment down below. Tell yeah. us what you would do in this situation. Yeah. How would you feel? Would you want money from the, uh, the company wrap shop that gave us a, or gave them a defective role? Let, Let us know. Labor, right? Is it is it fair to get compensated for yeah, some of the labor? Meet, exactly. Meet me halfway. Fifty fifty or something. Or I gotta I gotta eat it. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> wrapping it and then unwrapping it immediately it probably hurts a little bit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what color this is, comment down below. It's a dope color. I'll hit it with a light too. Hold on. Yeah. But once you get a light to it. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a super cool color. That sucks. raining now but let's go look at this blue manual gt3 that they have over here on the showroom and uh drool over this thing real fast gt2 this is yeah yeah <laughs> 720 roadster 600 LT, you going blue or red? Blue or red? 100% blue, bro. Blue? Yeah. 720S? Yeah, this is that no, Diablo that was here during the toy drive. 6.0 V12. There's a lot, of, a lot of toys in here today. This is kind of why I came here, to be honest. I want one of these so bad. <laughs> GT3 992. Manual. It just looks so aggressive. Rob thinks these things look like Volkswagen bugs. He does not like them at all. Hello. Ten cents, I don't want to break it. I don't. I can't afford it. <laughs> we did sell this car. Oh, you, it's already sold. Yeah. So, that's like, that's like, like... Oh, wow. 
That feels amazing. Holy shit. I want one of these. I want one. <sighs> Soon. So like I was telling you guys, I want to find a salvaged one of these. So that's that way it's not 200 grand or 250 or whatever. Find a salvaged one for cheap, rebuild it, and then have a GT3 for the channel. Because these are rear wheel drive. And especially if you do get the manual and not the PDK. Extremely, extremely fun cars. And you got the, the carbon and stuff here too. Wee. I think this is the next car. Got a dip from Elite right now. Shout out to my guy Sean. But yeah, saw a bunch of crazy cars. I don't know. <laughs> There's so many different type of vehicles in this episode. The GT3, 812, McLarens, all type of stuff. Comment down below what's your favorite. If I were to pick anything, it would be between the 812 and the GT3. Because they're rear wheel drive cars that can easily slide. More than more than capable of sliding. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you'd like to support the channel, go down below to helloclothing.com. Plus, forgot to say, most likely a dedicated video on the A12 coming very, very fast and a number of other cars. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Deuces. We're in Las Vegas, Big Free Lane for Fox Television. Ricky Bobby, today's big winner. A heck of a win for you today, but it seems as you can either win or crash the car trying to win. Well, Dak, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Yeah, I and know. nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, the bumper you're last. kind of good there, you know, my guy. You know what I'm talking about? That phrase, trademark, not to be up for this, Ricky Bobby. They didn't see nothing.